more Micro Galaxy Squadron has showed up early. Again, remember, these aren't supposed to be here until the first week of August. I got lucky, found a couple at Walmart in my area, and I've got a Saj Ventress Genevec Starfighter. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Micro Galaxy Squadron. This time we got a Saj Ventress Genevex Starfighter and I do have to confess, I looked at this thing and was just like, what? Is, what? when did we see this? It's Clone Wars. Clone Wars, of course it was Clone my blind spot. My Star Wars blind spot, as big as Clone Wars is, I'm not a stickler for the details on Clone Wars. It just wasn't my show. But I was surprised to learn that wasn't the only place this ship showed up. In fact, something that I do like that is not a blind spot for me, <laughs> Galactic Star Cruiser Halcyon Legacy number three. It's here. It is. It's right. It's there. See it? There it is. The Genevex thingy thing. It's, that's that's Asajj Ventress's ship. Now, this is actually kind of a cool issue um, because it does show a battle. Like when I was on Star Cruiser, they showed us a little part of the wall with some lightsaber marks. That was from a battle between Anakin and Asajj Ventress. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the outside of this box. Okay, so here we go. Star Wars on top. We got a launch edition sticker up in the corner. Look at that artwork. You got the Jedi Starfighters in the back. There's one with a hyperspace ring. And then up front, floating, we've got Asajj Ventress and her Starfighter. A little demo on how she sits in the cockpit there. The front raises up. We get the wings that flap back. Asajj Ventress, Genevec Starfighter, number 0011. Sorry for the glare, but it's late and I wanted it to be bright so you could see everything. Um, there are some guns that move 30 degrees on the top, little blasters. It looks like the tail end does fan out quite a bit, right? It kind of fans out from the center. That's pretty cool. There's the blueprint there. Nice. You can cut that out. I've been cutting them out and collecting these things. Uh, collect them all light armor class. So I was able to get a uh, TIE fighter. I got two TIE fighters. I got this ship, but I did not get an ATST or any of the chase vehicles. Now you might be looking at the two TIE fighters being like, what's the difference? The one on the right, the chase vehicle, is like an all-white version, while the one that we have here is just like a gray version. So the chase is more of a throwback to the original one from the 70s. But I think we've kind of taken a look at everything. There is the barcode for those who like that type of thing. There you go, a little barcode number. And the markings on it. It is approved by 023 Sad Baby, so it's a Sad Baby Squad approved toy. But yeah, let's uh, let's get this thing open. Okay, this time I'm taking a different approach. Last time I completely ripped the card. It was a whole mess. <laughs> this time I'm literally just going to cut the plastic. I'm just going to cut the plastic right where it is. Hopefully I don't ruin anything on the... Pl I think I already did. Did I ruin it? Yeah, I ruined it. Like I ruined my life. All right. <laughs> yeah, kinda, I feel like I might have cut the ship just then doing that. And I still ruined it. Okay, I am not the best at cutting these things. It's fine. Oh, there we go. A little bit better. Okay, one more side. One more side. How far did I get over here? There we go. Cut that. Can I do it? Can I do it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Almost. I'm trying not to cut my own fingers. Almost did, just then I felt it. Okay. A little bit better of a presentation. So I like the artwork in the back. See that? It's cool looking artwork. But even when I cut it like that, the plastic still leaves a residue. And get this. That same artwork, well, mostly the same artwork, is in the bottom of the package. So I'm going to remove this. That comes out. There's my whole ship and the figure and everything. But at the very bottom of the package, and this is why I like these. So I can set that off to the side. It's not as big. It's not as big. Just to kind of show you the two different pieces that we got here. So I don't know which part goes where, but those are the two like diorama pieces that it comes with. This is one where I can set it like that. It'll stand up and you have the cool little background. And then this is a different piece of artwork. Kind of interesting. I like it. I do like it. I just wonder like what, uh, where does it go? Like where does this piece, does it fit in down here somehow? Does it fit in? I don't, I don't know. It's cool it comes with this stuff. I like it. I'm keeping the back so that I can cut the blueprint off. But for now, let's let's get into the unboxing more portion. So, 
I do I do like this feature. The little micro figure accessories like Asajj Ventress, she does like pop out in her own little mini bubble. A little bit with her own little back too. And that's kind of funny. Oh, and this one has a stand. Look at that stand. Look at that stand. Okay. I I haven't seen one with a stand like this yet. Uh, I'm yet to open the TIE Fighter. Really, I just opened the um, X-Wing, and it did not come with a stand like that. So, let me see if I can safely pop this out without breaking it. Good, good. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's hold it upright. We have our ship. And this does fan out. Oh, it fans out. Oh, fans out a lot. And then these do rotate 30 degrees. Go in, and it closes back up if you want. Okay, that's cool. And I don't know that... Again, I'm not super familiar with this ship. I'll tell you when I don't know something. And I don't know much about this ship. Other than seeing it in that comic, I had to look up where it was from. I saw it was in a couple episodes of Clone Wars, which is like, okay, well, that explains it. It's exactly why I don't know about it. Um, but... And it wasn't in the Clone Wars that I watched. So I watched the Gendy Tartakovsky animated ones. Uh, I guess they're all animated, but the more 2D animation style. Oh, oh, okay. She even has little lightsabers. Look at little tiny baby, a size of interest. It's trying to focus on my hands. We'll look at close-ups here in a minute, but I did want to show you just how tiny little a size of interest is. And so she does have a little articulation. I was able to get her to sit down. I got a little kind of sitting down and I can take this I've got it upside down and I can place her inside the cockpit and then close this thing and there you have it she's inside the little cockpit there all right okay this is this is cool stuff now how do I display it that is the real question can I display it with the wings and everything open I cannot. I don't think I can. I don't think that's a, a possibility here. Is it? Is it not? It's not. I don't think it is. So I'm going to close all the wings here. And then I'm going to place it. Yeah, you do have to close it. And are there little pegs? Oh, there are little pegs for it to go into. So I can lift the top, but I cannot lift the bottom. You see what I'm saying? Like I can, I can close this wing and it's fine. And I can do it that way. But I can't open the bottom anymore because it will hit the bottom of the base i am liking what i'm seeing though. this was i believe this is 12.99 is what i paid for this at walmart so even if i lean it for it it falls off the base it's like, base, it's like, base, it's like base. see it's an official video now because i dropped something <laughs> so that's it i'm gonna put the bottom wing back in i'm actually gonna put both wings back in the smaller profile there you go and does it, it does lock in a place. So notice there are two holes at the bottom. And those two holes align with these two little pegs on top. So those can slide right in. And I can, I can use this to display it. Or I can use this to kind of whoosh it around and play with it a little bit. And then I can open that blaster up so it's a little more, a little more realistic. Kind of. All right. Let me show you guys some close-ups before we end this video. Okay. So, I mean, this is it. This is the close-ups. Notice that transparent plastic, and that is textured. I kind of want to give you a little ASMR scratch. That is very textured. And here we see the blasters that can rotate 30 degrees. Have a look. This is our base. Look at that base. I do like the base. I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to kind of put them all in their spot. There we go. A little better, a little better. Now it does say Star Wars on it, but notice the Star Wars isn't sticking out. It does, you can't even feel it. Unless you go to the bottom, that's where it sticks out, is the bottom. I like the way they designed that stuff. That's really cool. And you just a look at the the base on this thing. Unique shape. It's a very unique shape. And just kind of all angles of it. And then inside, you can see Asajj inside there. Just chilling out with her lightsabers out inside the cockpit. Now, can I open it one-handed? That's the real question. Uh, notice there's a little bit of paint detail on the cockpit right there. That little white stripe. And so, there is a Saj Ventress inside. Of course, not a lot of paint detail. I'm gonna, not a lot of paint detail, but I'm gonna knock her out there and kind of just show you guys the little close-up look of a Saj. Tiny, tiny, tiny little micro 
figure accessories. Crazy how small these things are. Surprised I haven't lost any yet. But overall, I think this is a cool looking ship. I do like the function of it, like when you can fully fan it out when it's not in its display stand. Let's see if I can get it to pop all the way out. Oh no, I got a whole wing doing its own thing up here. I'm not sure how that, oh I, look, I broke it. I, I, well, I didn't break it, break it, but I was able to uh, take it off of its hinge. Oh no, don't do that. I, I don't know, I gotta look at it and see how I pop that back in. I think I pop it into the right of the center wing. You see how there's that circle right there? I think if I take it, there's kind of a little hint for anyone who, uh, I wanna put it on top, like so. Oh, <laughs> I need two hands to do it. Okay, Let's see, will it work? Will it work? Oh yeah, that works no problem. Now, I did happen to, <laughs> it's gone. I happened to throw the blaster. When I was doing that, the little blaster came off. So, that said, I don't know what to rate this thing. I think I've lost the blaster forever. Well, here's the deal. It's gone. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm going to have to look for it. I'm going to have to, like, go around and look for it. The fact that it broke that easily, and then not only did the wing come off that easily, but then the little blaster fell off that easily, and now it's gone forever and hard to find. I just don't like it when stuff falls apart that easily. So I'm going to rate this one sad. I, I have to rate this one sad because just poor experience literally right out of the box. You guys watch me unbox it. I've had it open and out for maybe six minutes or so, and it just poof, kind of fell apart. So I'm going to rate it sad. Do I still like it? Yeah, I think it's cool. I'm glad we get to see these unique ships. But just buyer beware. It's flimsy. It does not hold up very well. And it, it just, it broke. It broke very easily. I was able to fix it. So it's not the end of the world. But I am now missing a blaster. I don't know what to do with it. Does it look cool against its background? Sure. Background's a little small. Like, even against the background, the background doesn't even cover the whole size of it. <laughs> so it's kind of like, why then? It's just interesting, interesting, but I am going to rate this one sad, guys. I want to know your thoughts on this Genovex Starfighter featuring Asajj Ventress. I do really like the minifig. I'm glad I have it for the minifig, but the, the figure itself, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. For me, if you're not, if you don't even know the ship, I would maybe pass this one up. Maybe save your 13 bucks and buy something else that's cooler. Um, I mean, I'm going to collect them all just because I'm, I'm really curious about this line. And I love making these videos for you. And if you like watching these videos, make sure you subscribe. Leave a thumbs up for me and for the algorithm so more people can see these kind of vids. And it just helps my channel grow, so much appreciated. But until next time, don't be a move milker. Be the spark.